Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to episode 110 of the Iron Man series and please enjoy today's episode. I got some things I want to de-extend. For example this, I don't need to do KBD anymore so bye bye. These will just be quick point tasks. Same thing for wyverns, I, I don't want to kill you anymore. Let's try again. Oh, okay, that works too. 158 Dagonauts, man, that's, that's sick, man. Now I can use all the new Slayer room and whatever and uh, get some dag bones for my prayer training. Yes! Oh my goodness, perfect timing, yo. I really wanted a late clue because all I need is that for another master clue, so I'm turning that in right now. Thank you for the master. Ah, this one I can do. Yes, that's it. Okay, cool. Oh wow, master clue's already done. So that was a very quick master clue, so uh, yeah, let's go ahead and see what we get. Ah, all right. Number 13, just a ton of alcohols, basically. So I'm about to go over to uh, Dagonauts now for them dag bones, and uh, yeah, this is my new setup. I'm rocking the new uh, ACP and the Dragon Fire Shield. This is gonna be quite fun to use, man. Just got my first pretty significant drop of this task, okay? Map Battle Staff? Oh my god, seriously? Two mud battle staffs uh, from this task. Eight to go. Haven't gotten any rings, but okay. And that is the Dagonaut task done. All 156 in one trip, so uh, pretty good. Now, yeah, no rings, but it's okay. Got a lot of Dagonaut bones, so that's gonna be some really good XP. This hard clue's from uh, Dagonaut King, so let's check it out. Hey, Rune Plate Licks G. Okay, I'm pretty sure I have one of these already, but let's see here. Rune Plate Licks G. Oh, yeah, I have three of them. Did we get it? Nice, we did. Oh, damn, 43 minutes. Oh my god. What? Damn, I just PR'd. Wow. Holy shit. I just beat my time by two minutes. And I got that PR yesterday, the 45, 50. So a cool thing I realized with the... Uh, flag spinning is that if you time it right you can get some really uh, good XP rates like I'm timing it pretty good and I've been doing it for a solid hour and yeah managed to sustain 76k so there's a trick to do with the banking part uh, that allows you to bank while the animation is still going on so you don't miss any of the uh, animation so it's very simple so as soon as you notice that the animation is done you click on the spot again and then click the bank so there's no waiting period. You basically are always constantly spinning, even during the whole banking process. So guys, if you haven't already noticed, I'm really high level on this Iron Man now, and since I mostly do PVMing, and most of my skilling goals are realistically done, there isn't that many uh, level ups in the videos anymore. So to compensate, I'm going to be uh, showing you guys virtual levels. So if you guys don't know what virtual levels are, is basically imagine uh, leveling up past 99 except obviously it's just cosmetic and yeah it doesn't affect the actual gameplay it's just a nice uh, additional contact to show you guys I know some of you guys are probably interested in like xp achievements or theoretical level achievements so basically always buddy i'm pretty sure the other clients they they all have this feature where it can uh, display the virtual levels for you so for example 101 attack just means that if there is an actual 101 attack, I would have gotten it because 99 uh, XP is only at 13 million. And in this case, I already have 16 million on my attack. So uh, there are some skills that I've well exceeded 99 in terms of XP, magic, basically all the combat ones. But yeah, hit points the biggest one. Oh yeah, I also just hit 101 magic right there as well. I wish there was like a little uh, level up display, but it's all good. So yeah, just reached 101 magic at about 15.9 million xp not bad sammy task avnc's task that would be all good oh my god wow that is nice man 152 avnc's uh, i would go right now but i don't have any chin so i gotta stock up on that probably tonight and then i can head over to armadale there we go just got 75 hunter Okay, I'm closing in on 500 chins collected again, but yep, already 76 hunter. Okay, I'm just gonna assume that by the time I finish all this armadillo grinding, I'm gonna be in like 
my 80-ish hunter, like, easily. Uh, PKer, come on, man. Let me uh, get on this. Ha ha ha, he tried to get me, but... Yep, saw him pretty far away, so yeah, pretty easy to dodge that one. But almost have enough chins, guys, almost. Oh wait, pretty much I do have enough. Yeah, it's a bigger armadillo task, so I have a 150 size. So that's why I bought 800, I think that should be enough. And that is it. Holy shit. I've been doing 150k crafting XP quotas for the past three days now. And uh, it is working. It is working, guys. Now, I am one more level away to being able to boost for the bracelet. And that is 500k experience left 290. So I have uh, finally finished over 50,000, so it's gonna be under 50,000 soon. And I guess it'll be another uh, three days or so. I might just bust an extra 50k, you know, on top of the 150k for one of those days. And I should be 90 within about, yeah, three days. Oh man, then I can make that bracelet. So I am ready to go back to Armadillo again in the new task. But I'm changing things up. I'm gonna give uh, Blood Barraging a try. It's the same method that I did with Zami. Theoretically, if I don't splash much, I should be able to benefit greatly from the Blood Barrage. But yeah, I also got the bonus to Peach Tap too. Mm hmm. 20k coins. Alright, that's probably gonna be the last kill of this Armadillo task. Just because I don't really want to go back for 18kc. That's basically 16kc actually. That's three armadillo boss kills so I don't want to use my ecumenical key for that but uh, yeah look at this KC though holy shit um, I basically have done uh, either 15 or 16 armadillo kills that trip so so I did a test with the blood barrage and honestly it wasn't really that great just because of two things uh, the kills were a bit slower so that means while I was healing a bit I also was taking more damage so yeah I basically didn't get anything out of that and also I have to uh, spend three inventory slots to have this blood barrage whereas I can like you know bring like more food or restores or something instead and another one is that I usually kill the melee guy way too fast so by the time the boss dies it's only the ranger and the major left like 80-90% of the time so I don't even get a chance to group mob with the blood barrage so that's like one of the biggest reasons why you would bring something like that is when you can group them but I kill it too fast and I'm gonna try the ring of suffering with recoil method next time when I get another task because that's gonna be really interesting screw that oh shit yes 184 greater demons well I kinda have been missing some Zami boss you know for a grind so hey that's very nice well that means I'm gonna be doing all three uh, God Wars bosses so of course Ceratoma is done so I'll never be doing that again but Bandos still need the hilt Zami boss still need that uh, steam staff Quite a variety, uh, more so than ever before in recent times, so that's good. Done. Oh my god! Oh my god! No fucking way. Oh my goodness, that's like my 20th solo raid. I can't- Wow! I- I got an ancestral roll top. The best magic top in the game. Dude, 200 mil plus in the bank. All solo, dude. No split. That's, that's fucking crazy. I knew this would pay off, guys. Doing these solo raids and getting good at it. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Yo, I'm doing some more raids, guys. Let, let's go. I'm going to be using my ancestral roll top for the next raid. So, this is the magic setup. When I go do ohm, right? So it's a plus 74 magic accuracy. So there's no extra damage bonus except for the occult necklace, which is 10%. Now the ancestral roll top, not only is it more accuracy, but what? Plus five too. It also is a 2% extra magic damage. So that's crazy. Okay. That is crazy, man. Oh boy. Oh boy, that's just amazing to see. That's my fifth race item in uh, 100 and I bought 10 KC. Remember the two that 
wasn't included during the KC update. I'm so proud of this achievement. So I'm going to be ending the video here, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching the video as usual. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. It was a freaking blast uh, making this video. That is for sure. So if you're new to the series and you want to stay up to date, feel free to subscribe to the channel. That way you know exactly when the next video comes out. And also, if you enjoyed today's episode, feel free to give it a like as well. So I'm going to be grinding very hard on this account as usual and hopefully we can continue to get some more of those PVM dream items on this Iron Man. And that's it. I hope to see you guys soon with another video in a few days. Take care and bye bye.